Hey everyone, welcome to today's update. Today is Thursday, April 30th. Starting with the Trade Hacker question of the day. This was posted in our community this morning and the question is, how do I determine risk versus reward when deciding to close a trade or leave it on? And this was in reference to a trade that we have on in SPY. This is a, a weekly double calendar trade. And as you can see, a couple days ago, we got kind of a vol crush, which uh, made this made our little profit tent sink a little bit. Now, you got to be real careful even really paying attention to these risk profile graphs, especially on a trade like a double calendar. But what I want to show you is the reason we took it, we always take these off when we have either one day to expiration or zero days to expiration. This is a very short term trade. We only have it on for five, six, seven days, something like that. And so... The point I want to make is, you know, we took this off earlier today and booked a little over $100 earlier in the day. Now, vol has popped and prices come down, so we would actually have taken more had we waited till later in the day. But the point is, why do we take it off today as opposed to tomorrow? And what I look at is if you go to your theoretical calendar and toss and we move till tomorrow, what you'll notice is that yeah, we could book, you know, another $100, $150 on the trade if it stayed right where it is. But if it makes any move down or any move up, we're basically going to make less than we made today. I've got these little hash marks and I just kind of place them. Let, let's just look at it from right now's perspective showing if we could, if we were to do this right now, book profit of 270. Well, what if it, you know, tomorrow, if it moved past this hash mark, we're basically going to book less than 270. If it moves past this hash mark, we're going to make less than 270. And so we have this tiny little range from which to book more profit than we could have today. And so that's why I said the risk versus reward just was not worth it to hold this until tomorrow because we just got a tiny little range. If we move outside that at all, we would book less profit than we took off today. Now, obviously, you know, we booked less this morning and we could have booked more this afternoon, but that's in hindsight now, right? So we, we never know that in advance. So that is the reason why we took this off today as opposed to holding it till tomorrow. The risk reward just did not warrant holding it. Uh, let's move on to the rest of the market. What's going on? Uh, S&P's down 46, getting a little bit, I mean, seemed like a pretty decent down day, but I mean, it's just a tiny, tiny blip, you know, in, in the overall scheme of, you know, this monster move that we've seen to the upside. And so, you know, again, we're still anticipating more downside. And think about this. I mean, they the jobless claims came out. We've now had 30 million, 30 million jobless claims in six weeks. That's crazy. It just, you know, the, the numbers for that amount of time in the 2008 recession, I think was... I have to double check, but I think it was less than a million or maybe a little over a million at this at this point in the six week period. Uh, so just crazy stuff. Uh, J. Crew, big retail outlet for for clothing, filed for bankruptcy. I mean, I think we're this is just the start of some of these retail and other businesses starting to file for bankruptcy. I think we've just scratched the surface of the economic impact all these closures have had. You know, the NBA just announced they're done for the season. You know, it's just crazy, crazy economic impact. And the fact that the the market is rallying based on the, the stimulus dollars coming in, I mean, they, the government can't continue to keep giving more and more stimulus over and over. I mean, how long can that last? And so sad stuff, but uh, unfortunately, that is the world we live in right now. So what else is going on? Well, we did a trade in Facebook. Facebook announced earnings. And if we take a look at Facebook, it uh, opened up above its expected move. And so we have a very specific trade that we put on for that taught in our earnings class. Now price just kind of bounced around, but we anticipate that Facebook will start to trend up over the next couple of days. At least that's what our trade is anticipating. That's what benefits our trade. So we'll see what happens. And these trades, these post earnings trades like this, I don't think I've had a loser in a few years. I, I could be wrong. I have to go back and look. Definitely not with the alerts we haven't. But these things are just super high probability trades. Earnings. Speaking of earnings. So we had Tesla, Microsoft, and Facebook, and eBay all announced last night. And then after the bell today, and then this morning before the bell, we had Twitter, McDonald's, some others. And then after the close, so right now, Amazon and Apple and Gilead. So let's actually go to the platform and see what's going on in these stocks, starting with Apple. 
So let's go to a daily chart and so that we can see the overnight action. Let's go to a five minute chart. And so far, pretty muted, kind of a little little dog and pony dance. And then its uh, price is pretty close to where it where it closed. Now, there's still the earnings call coming out, so that, that can also shake things up a bit. But at this point, just after the bell, it's 12 minutes after the market closed. And Apple's pretty close to where it started. What about Amazon? Amazon is down. So Amazon closed at about 2470. It's down to about 2377. So the expected move in Amazon was about 126. So well within its expected move, but uh, but down nonetheless. So we'll see how that impacts the market. What was the other ones I said? Uh, Gilead and oh, that's the other one I want to look at. So Gilead, oh UAL. I want to look at that one too. Uh, so Gilead. Obviously been in the news a lot with potential vaccines for the coronavirus, G-I-L-D. Closed at about 84 and a half, trading about 83 and a half. So not much movement out of Gilead. And then UAL, United Airlines. Not sure that they even announced. Let me see here. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look like they announced. Oh, they had it back here. That was yesterday. Hmm. That must be wrong. So anyway. So those are the earnings. That's all I got for you. Everybody have a great evening and we'll talk to you tomorrow.